Since training began in September, the crews of the Oxford and Cambridge boat clubs have been in the gym and on the water six days a week, morning and afternoon. So what is it like juggling a full-time study load and the training schedule of an elite athlete? What does it take to be a blue? I'm going to start by waking up at about 5.40 a.m. My alarm goes off at about 5.30 a.m. on weekdays. Six o'clock in the mornings, most days. Five o'clock and, um, and I'm up, I have my breakfast then. It's really important to fuel up properly before a session and have a light breakfast, maybe a bowl of cereal. You don't want to have anything too heavy first thing in the morning. Just enough to line the stomach and get me through, get me through the session. On the rowing machines, we're doing a lot of mileage, 24 kilometer ergos, 18 kilometer ergos, really trying to get a great base level of fitness. Most of the training in the morning here is um, on the ergometers. So that's to do with building endurance, quite a lot of long distance work. It's important for these women to view themselves as rowing athletes, not just women who row. So we definitely stretch their athleticism in a variety of ways. Often training in bitterly cold temperatures, the journey to the boat race is not for the faint-hearted. So what is it that keeps the crews motivated during the long months of training? We have one goal and it is very simple, it is beat Cambridge in the boat race and it's always at the forefront of our minds. Motivation for me is all about Oxford, it's all about beating those guys on race day, it sucks you in. After a solid session in the gym, the rowers typically head off to lectures and tutorials from 9 until 1. After the morning session you've done sort of 16, 18 kilometres already and you're kind of, you're quite pumped up. But I think very quickly that tails off. Lectures in the morning can sometimes be a little bit difficult to stay awake in, but I think that's part of the skill of rowing for Oxford is that you have to balance a full-time academic schedule and it's a tough academic schedule with full-time rowing as well. Then comes lunchtime. Given their exercise levels, nutrition is important for the crews. After lunch, it's back to the boathouse for an afternoon on the water. The purpose of the on-water sessions are to give the individual athletes an opportunity to show their ability on the water. That might sound silly, but it's not all about uh, ergo scores. It's not all about how good you are in the, in the weight room when you're lifting. Teaching the women how to be very precise, how to maximise their own individual power application, and get the most out of every stroke that they take. With evenings spent doing more academic work, there's little doubt that being a blue is a big commitment. But what does it take to be a blue? To be a blue for me is all about dedication. It's about commitment, it's about passion, um, and it's about a relentless desire to win, to beat Oxford. And you have to just put everything else to one side and know that you and your teammates, that's all you're focused on, that's all you're working towards, and it's really, just the commitment and the sort of unwavering resolution to win the race with your teammates. This is never something that you're going to be able to do just as a hobby. It's never something you're going to be able to just do at the weekends. It's an absolute way of life. Anyone who rows for Oxford as a blue will have very strong body, strong heart, strong mind. So they need to be a really tough individual and someone that's really focused on working within a team. If anyone thinks that this is an easy place to school, they should follow one of these women around. Um, go to their labs like I've done and see what they're doing um, and then come with them to practice twice a day. It's pretty impressive. Eight months of preparation, one day, one race and one winner. Who will you support at the 2013 BNY Mellon Boat Race on Sunday, March 31st? Which blue are you? Oxford! Go Cambridge! Which blue are you?